Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. You know, there was a, something of a kerfluffle with the ravens, and they heard about those ravens that attacked me um, in the Simi Hills, some distance from here. And they they had a a convention, a Congress of ravens, and a big one. Well, it, it sounded like there was a great deal of talking going on with not so many ravens, though, not like a giant number. But they talked and talked all day long, and the conclusion they came to was that it was better to move to an area where people didn't understand what ravens were saying. And since then, I've only seen the spare raven here and there. And in the meantime, I've been talking with the hawks, um, which for a long time I thought were humans, kind of sage and naturally authority figure type of beings. I thought they were men, but they are both men and women. The women sound very different as with ravens, but they don't sound at all like ravens. Sometimes the baby hawks love to get into uh, really dynamic storytelling about things that I used to take seriously, but really they were just trying to get a rise out of me. I can't believe I fell for it all those years. <laughs> and uh, so, But now now I know it's a bit the baby hawks having a wonderful time trying to frighten me. <laughs> they have to do that to be, get their fighting spirit together for the future days because one day they'll leave the nest and it'll be up to them to to go hunting for food. And in the meantime, they're building up their fighting spirit. And the parents do that too, very, very carefully. I was talking to a male hawk just now about the owls, which we hadn't discussed much before. See, owls come out at night. And uh, the hawk mentioned something very interesting. Uh, he said that they imitate mice and that's how they catch their mice and I said how did they do that or he explained without my asking perhaps um, that they do that subsonically and that that led me to posit that mice and say rabbits and other prey type animals low on the food chain, uh, mammals that are low on the food chain, may not be as silent as we think. It could be that they're vocalizing subsonically, meaning that we can't hear it. And then that the owls are also vocalizing subsonically. And I got to wondering whether other beings like insects might be vocalizing supersonically, say, because of their itsy vocal cords or what passes for vocal cords, and I sure hope I have a chance to look into that and try and figure it out. Doesn't it sound like an amazing field? Well, that's all for now. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars, and so are you. Come and visit me at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. WordPress website https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com That's all for now.